What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 Advantage video for you guys today. And today, I'm here to answer a question. How do you record your gameplay videos on here? Well, there are three different ways I know of. And we'll go over at least the first two, and I'll at least discuss the third one at the end. But, basically, before we get started, I either use Windows recording, Windows Capture, which I don't really use much anymore, but I used to, because it was just there, easy, and, you know, Windows key, R, and boom, you're recording. You know, something like that. I think that used to be the old key command. Hell, I've already forgotten. Or you would bring up, I remember what it was, it was Windows key G, you'd bring up the game bar, then you could hit record with your mouse. That's what it was. Anyway, so you can do that, or you can do what I do now and use OBS Studio. And I use that, and I just use the GPU to, what you would call it, record everything. And of course, we're going to exchange over to screen capture, and I'll show you all the different settings and all that stuff too. And then the third and final way is using modified drivers, which I've never done yet, because I want this to be, you know, as much as an apples to apples as somebody buying this laptop could be. If I'm sitting here running like custom drivers and this, that, and the other thing, then it's gonna make my shit like way nicer than like one you'd buy from the store. And it already is, because I've upgraded the RAM. So I'm already kind of owning myself in the foot by running upgraded RAM. I should be running the stock RAM to show people what it's like, but I want more performance, so. We're already screwing that up a little, don't want to screw up anymore, and plus, I don't trust myself with that kind of crap. I'm a builder, I'm great with hardware, but when it comes to software and whatnot, I'm not the best. Which is why I haven't made a video like this about even the recording stuff, because I was biding my time making sure I knew what I was doing and whatnot, so I don't give any Alright, well my camera just shut off on me again. I guess this thing does get used a lot, so it might be already dying on me or something. It's got full battery, but all of a sudden it was just like, you're in the middle of a sentence? I'm gonna say off and say your mic's disconnected and everything. Maybe the handle's dying, who knows. Anyway, like I was saying, if somebody, if I messed up totally the wrong thing and then they broke something, they have a right to be mad at me. But then I guess they listened to me and they had, there was their own choice to listen to me. So they still have to share some of the blame. But anyway, I don't want to get to that stage anyway. So why don't we go ahead, change over to some screen recording, and I'll show you the different settings I use both on Windows recording and on OBS. And then I'll at least dis uh, discuss the last option a little bit. So to the screen. All right, starting off our little video here on how I... Get, do my screen recordings. There's a different options. This is what I used to do. Now this one is Windows Capture. So if you go in here, go to Capture. And right here, you can choose different folders or whatever. You can open your folder. You can record what happened, kind of like uh, NVIDIA has that like replay kind of feature. Max recording length, you can go up to four hours but you can also do as little as 30 minutes, depending on what you feel like doing. You can capture audio and recording a game, or not, depending on what you want to do. Then you can set your video frame, right? Your options are just 60 and 30. So this one's nice to have because it's built in, but it's pretty limited in what you can do. And you can even get your mouse cursor while recording a game. But all right. Now, why don't we go ahead and look at the other options as well as get some gameplay. Now, here is another option. Now this is OBS, it's right now it's version 28.12. It actually just updated today for me. I don't know if it just came out today, but when I opened it, now if I turn that off, it turns off our screen recording, because that's what you're using, but I just want to show you. And then if we did a game, we could also turn that off by hitting the same button. But since we're not recording a game right now, it doesn't make the camera go off or anything. So. Now let's just look around the general settings and whatnot. Now output, I do recording since I'm not doing an actual video. Now all this is going to be like blanked out. That's my target bit rate. I'm using the AMD encoder. As you saw up top, audio is 320. And this, I just use whatever I'm on. If I'm on 1080p, I make it 1080p, and then I always do the output as the same as my base. But you can also downsale if you don't want it to be that big. Like if you're recording 4K and you don't want it to take a bunch of space, you could do 1080p instead. It's all up to you. 
And of course, I record at 60 FPS. All right, we're just going through all these different settings. I don't stream, but here's where you would put in your service. Replay buffer, I just realized I didn't go into that one, or the streaming. Here's the streaming stuff. I didn't mess with it at all because it's not what I mess with. I just use it as for the recording function. Here's the audio, video we already looked through. Hotkeys, I have an Alt F9, just like NVIDIA Shadow Play, because it's familiar to me, so I figured why the hell not. And then, but you can also set up all these other ones if you want. Look at how many there are. And then accessibility. And then advanced. So. Let's just go down here to the bottom. Now a lot most of this is grayed out because I'm using it right now. But anyway, now why don't we get some actual footage? Well, all right. This part's obviously much easier to show you guys with the camera, but I just picked Nino Kuni 2 here. I'm still gonna do gameplay of this game, obviously, but figured we'd come in here, see we're getting 100 FPS, 120 depending. So now let's say you wanted to get some screen recording. So in this case, what I used to do is Windows key G it brings up this game bar thing. That's a new one. Didn't used to have Spotify. Wonder if that's going to be kind of like the Xbox 360 where you can literally just listen to your own music in any game. I used to love that. That was one of my favorite features of the Xbox 360. I could play uh, Need for Speed and listen to my own music. It was dope. But anyway, we don't need the gallery. So anything you don't care about, you can just close. And don't worry, if you want it back, you can just click up here and it'll come back. So anyway. What I would do then is start hitting that button, which would mean that the recording should be starting. Yep, capture status just started up there. Then you can just click on the screen, and now it is, I guess I can use my mouse. And see, now it's recording, and you can see the little recording logo. This is honestly one of the coolest things about the Windows One. It actually gives you just a, a live, whatchamacallit, timer. When I'm using OBS or NVIDIA Shadow Play, unless there's an option to turn one of those on, I don't have anything that tells me that. I have to figure it out for my damn self. So that's why I use my iPad as a timer. But as you can see, we're getting a little bit less FPS than we were when we first started the game. We're like basically almost always under 100, and that's because of my intense settings that I'm running. Oh, I don't even know how to fucking attack. Oh, it's literally clicking the mouse? Well, okay. All right, so there we go. And then whenever you want to stop, you can either hit like escape and something to give you a mouse to come up here and hit it, or you can always just hit Windows key G anytime, like I used to do, and just come up here, hit that. It'll tell you your clip was recorded successfully, or if there's a problem, it'll say it wasn't. And then the problem with this guy is sometimes you'll come up here and click record, it'll just say, nope can't do it just it just won't do it it won't tell you why it'll just say can't do it so that's why I kind of stopped using it it wouldn't work for Vulcan and like other random things mostly just Vulcan but anyway so this is just one way to get some screen recording now I'm sure you guys noticed this green bar going around my screen now that's the other way to record so let's switch over to OBS now and I'll show you how I use that and show you that settings and whatnot well, all right, guys, we're back in Nino Kuni 2 here. So now I'm going to show you how I use my OBS. So as you can see, here's the FPS and whatnot. Still 120, 118. Drops down to 100 here and there. Uh-oh. Got myself into a little battle here. Oh, well, I'm kind of 
easily able to kill these guys now, so it shouldn't be a long battle. I did not mean to get into a battle. I wanted to start the fucking recording and show you guys that, but... Is that everything? Victory. Okay, so... Anyway, didn't mean to get into that battle. So this one's a little different. Like I said, the hotkey was Alt F9, right? So I'd have my iPad like over where you could see it. Let's just pretend it's here. So I just hit start the timer and then I'd hit Alt F9. And then you can see the frames tank so you know it's working and you can also tell that the frame time gets a teensy bit choppier. And it depends on what game it is, but sometimes it can get really choppy. But as you can see, it still drops the frames a teensy tiny bit. Pretty much the same as the Windows recording did. But I think this one looks a lot better. Because it has more customization, mainly. I'm actually impressed. They actually are pretty intuitive with this. With this mouse clicking being the attack and stuff. That's pretty cool. I still think I like this game with the controller a little better, but this is going better than I thought it was going to go. Oh, nope, victory. I was going to use my guy's little move, but... So there we go. All right, and then I would always stop the timer, all F9. Our frames go back up. We can see our frame times level out, so we know it recorded. Now, this one doesn't tell you whether or not it was successfully saved or not, but this one has always recorded something, but sometimes it records, like, a black screen or, like, the Crisis logo or something. Although, truth be told, most of that just happened on my main computer and not the one that I just built, the one that had the 5950X and the 3090. Maybe I just had something fucked up in it? I don't know. Anyway, though, let's hop back out onto the desktop and we'll go have a look at our recordings and see how they look. All right, real quick, I figured we'd have a quick look at the recordings and where it puts them. This is where I have it set up, too. I figured just put it in the videos folder because that way they won't get lost. Now, the Windows one goes in captures and OBS just kind of puts shit right in your video folder without a folder or anything. So let's check out how the... Uh, for Windows one looks first here. First, I'm just gonna look at the properties real quick because I've always been kind of curious what the data rate of this one is. So it does record in 1080p at least, so that's good. And about 3,500 to my 100,000 that I do on OBS. All right, and then that's the uh, DVR service. So anyway, let's launch it real quick. You guys can kind of see what it looks like and whatnot. Not bad. Looks a little soft, but not bad for a fucking thing that just comes with your freaking windows. Now, I personally think OBS looks better, but you guys can be the judge. And at least it almost always works. I've had very few instances where it doesn't work versus lots of games that just refuse to work on the windows. So now, let's cruise over here. Now, there is all the ones so far I've been. Half of them are ones I'm using for the video, but the one we want is... Obviously, nope, not that one. This one right here. So why don't we just launch this one now? We already know the bit rate is 100,000 because that's where I set it at. So now you guys can check this one out. You can check out the frame time up there. You can it just goes down a teensy tiny bit and puts a little tiny bit of stutter in there, but not much. The other one might have too. I wasn't really paying attention, but that's how I always tell this one's working. But all right, so that's that. We can close all that and move on. All right, now here's your third option. If you want to use Relive, you can use this Nimsy driver. Now, I don't know much about this because I haven't tried this yet myself because I wanted to keep mine, besides the RAM, pretty apples to what people would get, you know, from the factory. But if you guys want to talk to people that know much more about this than me, there's a bunch of people in my Discord for this laptop that know much more about this than I do. I'm just the hardware guy. 
I'm glad people much more software literate came in. They're very helpful. So if you want to do this option, talk to them. But that's the other third option. So beyond that, why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys. That is a wrap for showing you guys what I use to record and your other options as well. And like I was saying, I'm just not going to use those MZ drivers, but that's just because I want to keep this as Apple staff as I can. But if you do want to use it, talk to somebody in my Discord. There's a few people in there that know what they're doing a lot more than I do with this kind of thing. And I don't want to give you guys wrong information, like I was saying in the beginning, and fuck up your laptop. That would be the absolute last thing I want to do. I'm trying to have a helpful YouTube channel here, not a destructive YouTube channel. But anyway, now I think I'm going to go off and do a fun little video, kind of just how I make the videos, because somebody was interested. So I figured I'd oblige. And then I need to get to doing a cyberpunk video for someone, because they were interested in how it ran. And then I have to figure out if I want to do Asus G15 videos today, or get a few more Steam Deck videos done, because I was getting a little bit low in the tank. I ran out of ones to upload. So, I mean, I think I'm good to like, November 28th or something like that, but still, I like having stuff in the back burner in case I just forget or, you know, I smoke a bunch of weed. Sometimes I just forget to do shit. So, helps me prevent that from happening. Be like, oh shit, I didn't make any, but it's okay. I've got like 10 that I can upload from my NAS. Anyway though, I'm just blabbing on and on and on. So why don't we go ahead and end this video so I can get started on the next one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it answered your questions. And until the next one, peace out guys.